The Greyjoys have come to Westeros to show that they do not sow. Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to the Seven Kingdoms Total War mod for Total War Attila. Joining me is Pixelated Apollo. Hello, good to be here. And today we are going to try and show some smackdowns with some of the new factions coming in the new patch, which should hopefully be out in the next couple of weeks, basically revamping every single house in the game and adding in a few new minor ones and basically just revamping the entire mod. So it's definitely worth checking out. I'll be sure to link it down below in the description. I'm going to be playing as the Greyjoys and you're going to be playing as the Men of the Vale. So do you want to just run through your army quickly and then I'll run through mine and then we'll get started. Yeah, no, it sounds good. So so I've got um, a mix of House House uh, Aaron and House uh, Royce. So in the front here, Royce. Um, I got archers mostly for from Royce. Um, yeah, so nice long bows right in the front. Look pretty cool. They look very medieval, you know. Uh, not too. Uh, that's the cool thing about Game of Thrones, though, is that it's not too over the top with fantasy. You know, minus the dragons and, and stuff. <laughs> yeah, but, minus these massive beasts. In yeah. terms of, like, weaponry besides, and armor. And, and the undead, obviously, as well. It, yeah. well besides, yeah. besides the undead and these. Yeah. And also, besides oh, the... Uh, also, besides the witch the lady, the red lady. lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. Besides her as well, yeah. yeah. The gods, you yeah. know, doing yeah. all this crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Besides that, yeah. Yeah. Lords of the Light, yeah, yeah. 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 It's pretty much oh, like and history. Also, also, besides all the fantasy <laughs> creatures that live on the summer islands in the south yes, of the world, yeah. Yes. Besides all of that, I can't yeah, forget the un them. Unexplored places, yeah. Besides yeah. that, though, yeah. Yeah. Besides Pre that, it's like reading a history book. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> behind the archers, I got a mix of uh, House Aaron Billman. They look pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can see them in their new armor as well. They've been like updated to fit more of season eight. Yes, yes, they look very nice, very nice, ready to fight the uh, the Greyjoys. And then on the other side of that same line, we've got Halberds, which, again, look very similar to the Billmen. Very cool. Behind them, I've got uh, the House Aaron House Guard, which is our my elite of the elite. And then on the flanks of the House Guard on both sides, I've got the House Aaron Swordsman. So... All of them really, they've got that same armor, nothing too different in terms of variation. I like it, it's very simple, very rugged kind of armor. Uh, and then on the flanks, I also have my Cav. So House Aaron Cav. I brought a lot of them since they're kind of known, you know, Knights of the Vale kind of stuff, so. Very cool. Again, same armor, they're just on horseback. Very nice. Love House Aaron, one of my favorites. I love the kite shields you have as well behind Yes, there's the spearmen. Yeah, they look great. Looks great. Uh, and then I've... Oh, oh, one second, Jackie. You can wait. Sorry. I've got... I don't uh, mean to interrupt you, you know. Jan Royce as my general. The, the, the man at arms for the, for the veil. Yes. All right, let's check out your stupid sea faction. <laughs> so from right. Oh yeah. Also, that's something uh, the modder is planning on adding in as well is naval combat. Oh. Well. So the uh, Greyjoys will definitely benefit from that. We can do some like mixed operations where the Greyjoys land and go on a, a reeve or two. That would be cool. Yeah. So on my front line, I just have some Greyjoy house guards. So the elite spearmen. You can see the Greyjoys. I think they've been made a little bit taller as well in this patch, but their armor kind of again fits a lot more in line with how we saw them towards the end of the show. Behind that, I have my elite axemen, so these guys are going to pack a punch, and they have quite a few chevrons as well, so definitely something that you're going to be wanting to try and focus down. Uh, I have Fionn Greyjoy in the back, leading the men. You're a good man, Fionn. <laughs> uh, on the uh, far right flank. I just have some cavalry, but the Greyjoy cavalry is not going to be anything special, but supporting them, I do have some of my spearmen as well. That basically sums up my roster. It's kind of a nice. smaller roster, but... Um, yeah, I mainly just bought kind of, I went for more of like an elite force than a large one because I feel like the Greyjoys out of every faction, you know, will have like a smaller population to draw from, but their warriors are a lot more elite because elite. of their culture. Yeah. Because, you know, they are more of like a, a warrior. Like you know, a Viking. Viking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, indeed. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> <laughs> and do literally nothing. Go yeah. watch it. Go and watch the episode of, uh, you know, go and watch the Already, one. already, we're ranking on the, 
yeah, the show so if, you guys, uh, if you guys haven't seen it yet, me and Apollo, uh, if you go check out his channel, we've already done another battle. And yes. towards the end of that battle, I started getting really triggered about season eight and going off on a rant. <laughs> um, and I guess it's just followed over to the beginning of my video. Yes. Uh, I'll try my best not to rant too much because yeah. this this video is all about the you know focus the on the positives. Things. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I was gonna say the positives of this mod, maybe not uh, not season eight. Right, right. Positives are that the units look really good. You know, the season eight units look really good. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes, they do. Indeed. I mean, the battle scenes were really cool too. I mean, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, let's just let's just leave it there. Before okay. I, all right. All right. I'll, I'll pop off. Can you uh can you cross that lake out of interest? Cross the lake. Oh, the one. Lake, Let's see. The, body of, the small like puddle body of water. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah, you can. Okay. Well, I'm extremely scared of your cavalry because I don't really have much to counter it. You know, I just the great joys don't really use horses. You know, so I'm gonna be yeah I'm looking just to smash your battle line quicker, quick enough so that I can. Um, then kind of support my flanks, as it were. Oh, uh, for the cav, yeah. Because if your cavalry gets around the flanks and starts hammering and ambling into my back, it's going to be... It's going to be trouble. Painful. Yeah, indeed. We'll, we'll see. I mean, you got a lot of infantry. I do, indeed. And that's going to be my uh, my saving grace, hopefully. So I'm going to try and close the distance. Once again, I have zero... I have no missiles whatsoever. So yeah, I know. Indeed. See what these grey joy horsemen are made of. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Don't worry. I'm I'm moving forward in full force. Don't you worry. Let's my do this. I'm just trying to use my superior infantry. Superior tactics. That too. To rip you apart. Yes. <laughs> God, you have so much cavalry. I know. I know. I. But the thing is, like, you have to micro a bit more. Yeah, for sure. A bit expensive as well, so if you don't utilize them, then it's gonna be pretty painful. But nice thing is, I have a good line of reserves and stuff, so that's a lot of cavalry on my flank. Nah, it's not that bad. Yeah, I'm sure I won't worry too much, just chill, you know? Yeah, just chill. Indeed. Just chillax, don't worry about it. I won't, I won't. Oh god, I'm gonna lose that combat so hard as your cavalry comes smashing into mine. <laughs> you might want to engage your infantry. Uh, I don't think you should tell me what to do, thank oh, you. Oh, oh! Uh, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, that is what I need to do for sure. Just get them going. See if they can yeah. see how tough they are in combat. Yeah, I have been touting about how good they are. So I know, they better. They better uh, perform. Indeed. Which they're not really doing too much of right now. Oh, well, fion has gone in already as well. Oh, boy. Got a few good abilities, though, to try and... Try and have. I got a killing spree ability and stuff, so... Oh, yeah, you know, I really need to pay attention to that. Makes my men exhausted, but allows them just to rip through their opponents, so... coming over. You know, I could be microing better, but you know. I mean, it's not, uh, it's you want to do some slow motion? Yeah, let's do it. We can actually zoom in and watch the battles. Are you in like a? Sh oh, you got your billman. What the yeah, heck? They're gonna be hard to cut through. Uh, there we go. Jeez. Um, yeah. No, this front line is looking pretty juicy right now. Yeah. Hopefully, my axes can do it though. Um, oh, I mean, hopefully not. <laughs> Yeah, true. I kind of need the flanks to get crushed and then I can move in. I've also got like a lot of spearmen over here. Okay, using that killing uh, thing, spree thing, wasn't great because now all my men really? are exhausted. So, uh. um, probably should have saved it towards the end of the battle. I, I think that's probably would have been a much better... Better situation. Yeah, use of it. You know, when they're already pretty tired, so the, the buffs are just like constant. I mean, they're doing a good job so far. Definitely showing the uh, pure Greyjoy way of the warriors. Yeah. Yeah, I think they are a little bit taller as well than, than your men. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're a bit more like, you know, Vikings were, you know. Yeah, big, 
Big fellows. <laughs> Big brooly men. Yes. Cap where I can see it in my center. That's one of the negatives of slowing my rise. I can see <laughs> yeah, it yeah. Yeah. coming in. But... Hey, but you can react to it a little bit better. Yeah, indeed. See, it's kind of difficult. Um, I mean, I like the art style of how you see the logo above all the units, but it can be difficult to know like what you're fighting. Yeah. Um, I guess it's more so for when you use like multiple houses, so it kind of represents that more. Right, right. And I think if you, in the options somewhere, you can turn it on so that you, if you press space, I think it does come up with what type it is next to it. Oh, yeah, that would be useful. Somewhere in Attila, I think it does that. Nice of the veil! <laughs> I mean, they did a pretty good job against my cavalry. I don't really have much of it left now. Oh! And that rear charge, yeah. Yeah, it was juicy. Now. your missiles just demolishing <laughs> the one poor unit. What's yeah, uh, they exist, Jackie. They exist. That is, that is true. I mean, we are invading the uh, we are invading your land, so yeah, I guess it is only fair. Yeah, no, these these two uh, two factions are are pretty sweet. Um, What's your, so we've used the Targaryens, the Lannisters, and then these two. What's your favorite so far? You know, I really like House Aaron a lot. Yeah. I just think that there's something about him that's just really cool. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to- Oh! There it goes. This entire unit just like evaporated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened to him? He had way more melee. Oh, wow. What's up? You are really pushing on the flank. I've got to try and do something, right? Because as, as the advisor just said, the men are losing hope. They should. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could see yeah. House uh, Greyjoy being very like focused on their leadership you know kind of like a barbarian thing where if the leader dies then big morale break i mean yeah. what, what do you think but i mean i feel like the the leaders of the great joy are normally people who don't go down like you're in the books is some like crazed psychopath you know he puts like his, his pregnant salt wife on the bow of, <laughs> ship, bow of his ship and stuff you know like as the like as every the gentleman would yeah, and like some blood sacrifice. Like he's he's crazy. He's such a good. He's like messed up in the books, but he's like such a good like a villain, you know. Yeah. Um, he's like trying to do some blood ritual to try and get the dragon horn so he can control Daenerys' dragons. Like that's it's just awesome. Wild. Yeah. Yeah, and he's not like the leader of the uh, the Greyjoys either in in the books. He's uh, following his uh, his brother Victorion as well but he's like plotting to try and overthrow it's just like oh the, uh, it, the books on, yeah yeah they like make him into like a pussy cat in the tv show compared to like, <laughs> book Euron. like book Euron is is something else yeah yeah he's lame annoying yeah really lame lame Some, like, and annoying sparrow looking ass pirate yeah yeah he looks like a biker like <laughs> Yeah. God, how do we always keep getting? I don't know. It's just so one. bad, dude. It's <laughs> it's hard not to talk about it. Yeah, true that, true that. I really should have bought some missiles to, to fight yours. My, my, I went for a battle plan, but I'm just trying to smash your front line as hard as I can. Mm. Hasn't quite paid off. No, no. Where's my calf? Cavalry superiority and missile superiority is definitely winning the day, but yeah, we'll see though. It's not over yet. That bounce, well, bounce power is kind of my favorite. Yeah, I mean, oh, I that's pretty, big pretty break. screwed for me. Big um, break. Yeah, I definitely need maybe a little bit more cavalry and a few missiles at least. I think I even yeah. if I'm gonna go for like a rush build like this, I think I need to at least bring something, something, else. something for my archers to shoot at instead of your infantry, yeah. you know. Yeah, so infantry can do that thing. And I think having, I think you had halberds as well, which are like impenetrable from the front as well. So. Right, you gotta really work on the flanks. Indeed, indeed, my friends.
Indeed. Indubity. Uh, you want to do more slow motion? Uh, yeah, sure, we can do. Just get, mean, watch the Greyjoy not... get slaughtered. <laughs> yeah, there's not really much. My entire right <laughs> part of my army and my center are broken. It's just my left flank holding firm. Yeah. Fion died. Oh, yeah, Fion died ages ago. I remember that, actually. Yeah, we yeah. Are gonna, we are going to litter the ground of our dead. This is a slaughter as well. You still got three and a half thousand men left. Well, my... Well, I guess I won't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it. Don't no, spoil nothing. <laughs> but yeah, no, they look cool though. That, I think that's the whole point of this is that the the units look fantastic. Yeah, but Modder, uh, yeah, he does a he does a great job. He's he's definitely extremely talented when it comes to three D modeling. Uh, yeah, I, re I really hope he tries like once he's done naval combat and stuff, and if he still wants to keep on modding, I hope he does like like a few maps or something because he could model a lot of amazing architecture. You Ooh, know? yes, it's I would love to do like. The King's Landing siege or something. Yeah, because I think that's like it's it's all well and good making a really cool map, but having access to assets that are you know Game of Thrones game, which are like what the buildings in Winterfell, it just makes the map feel so much more alive. Yes, and, like having Roman, you know, late period Roman, stuff, you know, buildings and stuff. Yes, for sure. Yeah, but yeah, who knows? I mean, he's uh, yeah, definitely knocked out of the park of this update. It's uh, an insane one. And as I said, I highly recommend you guys check it out. Uh, I'm sure we'll both leave it in the description uh, so you guys can check it out when it does go live. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this, yeah, they've done, I, even like the, um, the character models of like the major characters look yeah. so good. It's like they look spot on. Yeah, definitely. Charge! Knights of the Vale! Probably gonna be all yeah, so she wrote from my front line. Yeah, that was... Well, that was a massacre. Yeah, that was, um... I think Cav really, like you said, Cav and Archers really, uh... Played their part in that one. Indeed, indeed. And yeah, look at the kills in your Archers, over a hundred... Holy moly! Most of them. Your Cavalry didn't actually do that crazy, but I guess they did. You know, did their part. It's hard to even see... The Oh, yeah, yeah. Lancer. I mean, they, they all got over 100 kills. Yeah. I think it was just, like, key kills, you know? Like, flanking Indeed. kills. Yeah. Indeed. John Royce didn't even have to lift a finger. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he did fight a little bit. He just didn't get any kills. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Be sure to check out Apollo's channel because we did another battle, which is definitely worth watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.